Hi, this is Precious Okafor. In this video, I want to show you the best free video editing software for churches in 2023. Luckily for you, the software I'm going to reveal to you today is going to both answer the question of the cheapest video editing software and also free video editing software. Because there's always a trade-off between free software and professional software. Most times when you're looking for a free software, you have to choose between... Most times when you're trying to decide on software to use, you have to choose between a free software and a paid software, okay? And we know that free software always have limitations and it doesn't give you a lot of effects and customization opportunities for you to have control of your video editing and to be able to deliver professional standard video editing. And that's the reason why most times you have to go for those paid video editing softwares. The reason why it's important to make a very good choice when it comes to choosing a software for video editing is because the learning curve of video editing can be stressful. It can be you know, really tough because video editing is a real skill on its own and each software has its own functions and its own operating system has its own tools. You have to like dedicate time to learning each software. You don't want to start using a software and after some months you have to leave it and jump to another software and start the learning curve all over again. And this is why I'm doing this video so it can help you whether you're a beginner, you're an intermediate video editor or you are an advanced, you're a professional video editor. The software I'm going to call for you right now is going to solve your problems from beginner to advanced. The best thing about this software is that it's unlike free softwares like Shortcut and CapCut and some other software that you know that have so much limitations when it, because they are free, you know. CapCut is free, uh, Open OpenShot is free, Shortcut is free. But the problem is they have a lot of limitations on what you can do with them and how good your production quality is going to be. If you're a beginner, our advice you can use it. But if you're trying to like grow into the skill of video editing, then you will need a software that has an upgrade path for you to grow with it. Most times, as volunteers for media department in church, you might just come to volunteer and you're not exactly trained, you're not a professional at what you do. Maybe you're a graphics designer, you're a video editor, you're a movie director, or a website designer. You just pick up these skills while you're actually working, while you're actually serving. So you don't have you might not have all that experience and that is why this channel is here for you. You might consider subscribing to our channel so you can follow up all our videos on everything pertaining to church media. We, you know, we drop video tutorials on audio editing, video editing, filming, live streaming and anything around the media, even technical audio and sound. We'll be here to deliver content to you that can help you to help your church to grow and spread the gospel. The software I'm introducing to you today is DaVinci Resolve software. This software has a free version and a paid version. And the good thing is that the free version is almost as good as the paid version. There are only a few effects that are included in the premium version that is not in the free version. Things like motion blur effect, things like film grain, and built-in noise reduction. The premium version has all these tools in it, but the free version has every other thing apart from this. You can even do color grading. You see, the good thing about DaVinci Resolve is that it's been used before now. What brought DaVinci Resolve to popularity was its color grading effect, you know, and even editors in Hollywood have used this software to produce movies. Imagine using the same tools that the best in the industry are using, even as a beginner. As a beginner, you can start with the free version and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and what you need to do. It's so easy to use, but you just have to dedicate some hours to practicing and checking up. So many video editing softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro, they charge like $20 per month for the premium, but free version is DaVinci Resolve, while the premium version is DaVinci Resolve Studio. So the studio version goes for $299, lifetime license. So once you pay $299, you get to use the software for life. You're not, there's no renewal, there's no monthly renewal, no yearly renewal. For life, you have access to the software. And I consider this the cheapest software in the industry, not just for beginners, but also for professionals. So even if you are a professional video editor and you are looking for the best software that can give you every feature and also save you some cost, I don't think $299 is a huge price to pay for the value that this software gives. But for the sake of this video, all I'm going to be highlighting is DaVinci Resolve, which is a free version that you can use to start editing the video materials for your church programs and services. On my screen right now is the project manager of DaVinci Resolve and this includes all the projects that you're working on and you just have to click new project, title it, I'm going to title it test project, create and the dashboard opens up. There are seven panels on DaVinci Resolve that you're going to be using. The first you have the media panel where you bring in your files 
the media files you'll be using, but audio, the video, the pictures, and any file basically you're going to be using for your video editing, you bring it into the media panel. When you want to import a file in the media pool, just go to your file explorer, select the file, drag and drop. You can also go to file, import, and import media, okay? So once this is done, we'll move to the next panel, which is the cut panel. The cut tab is where you're going to be syncing the clips you're going to be using, sync the audio and the video. You're going to cut out the, the particular part of the clips you're going to be using so you can now import it into the edit tab. This is the edit tab. This is where the whole editing is going to be done in the edit tab. The next tab is the fusion tab where you can do your animation and your motion effect. Your animation and motion effect for your video. After that you have your color tab. This is where your color grading for your videos is going to be done. As you can see, um, let's try to change the color on this video. This is the white. You can see how you can move it to highlight any color. You can choose yellow, red, you can see, green, and blue. So you can just move this to achieve whatever look or whatever color grading effect you are hoping to achieve you know there's a lot of features around here that you can just practice and give yourself to discover and the next tab is the fairlight tab where all the audio post processing is being done you can see the panels it's really a standard professional audio editing tab you can do everything concerning your audio your jingles everything in this fairlight tab after you are done with this the next panel is the deliver panel where you get to export your video and render all the jobs. As a bonus in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best export settings to use, especially if you're working with YouTube, you're trying to upload to YouTube or to social media or to the internet. On this export tab, which is the deliver tab, you can click on custom export and put the title, your location, video, export video, leave the format in QuickTime, in codec H264, encoder, leave it at auto, resolution, you choose your resolution, mine is at 1080 frame rate of 25 and uh, quality leave that best quality but if you are exporting your video in 4k you can restrict it to 80,000 kilobytes per second but if it is in 1080 like mine then you have to restrict it to 40,000 not 80,000 encoding profile auto one of the things that you can do is on advanced settings come to color space tag and choose p3d65 and for gamma tag, choose sRGB. What this selection does to your video is to keep the color grading and the, co the color saturation of your video so that when you export and you upload it to the internet, it doesn't reduce the quality. You know, the internet reduces the quality of videos, generally and media material. So when you do these settings, it will retain its quality. Your video is going to retain its quality and its colors and it's not going to even if the quality of the video is dropped your colors are going to remain intact scroll down a little bit and force sizing to the highest quality force the bayer to the highest quality you can also upload directly from your dashboard to youtube you can add chapters from markers so if you select this you can add chapters from the markers while you are editing your video so if these were markers okay so this is a marker add a marker add another marker add another marker are you seeing this when you come to export and you say uh, take chapters from marker, it's going to automatically upload those chapters on your YouTube description. You can also upload your thumbnail directly from this software. So the software is really compatible for YouTube and take a lot of the hard work away from you. So you don't export and then start uploading again. So once you just export it, after export, it automatically uploads. And after you're done doing your export settings, you can save it as a preset so that you don't have to set it every time you come. Like you see, this YouTube preset is a, is a preset I have already saved. Exactly what I'm showing you, this is YouTube preset. You can have different presets depending on where you want to be using the video and how you want to be using the video. So depending on the video and the purpose for your editing and how you want to use it, you can choose to, you know, tweak the preset to fit into what you want. Just come here, click this, click the three dotted line and save as new presets and choose the name of the preset so i'm going to go into two save this so you can see the preset youtube one youtube two when you are done you can select add to render queue save it and
come here and click render all and your video exports and if you if you selected upload directly to youtube after exporting it's going to upload directly into your youtube this is how i upload all my youtube videos this is how i my i add chapters to my video this is what i use all the videos you are seeing is edited with davinci resolve and this is how much i love the software and i think you should try it out i'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to try out the software and if you have any other questions please leave a comment in the description i'll be there to answer it and if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get updated every time we upload a new video thank you for watching this video i'll catch you soon